Good morning. Good morning, all of you. So today we will have one word problem of money chapter. We only completed one, no. So let's have one more. Then we can open the workbook. Okay. So you can take your notebook. If you have space in the same page, you can continue there. Otherwise, you can take a fresh page. Now I'm going to share the screen. Please take a notebook. Now you can write B. Very simple question. And the question is, please write P A Y A L Pile. It's the name of a girl. Pile wants W A N T S. Pile wants to buy B U Y. P A Y A L. Pile wants to buy. Well, I can go to the bathroom. Yeah. Pile wants to buy a notebook. Pile wants to buy a notebook. P A Y A L. Pile wants W A N T S T O two B U Y buy. Pile wants to buy a notebook. N O T E B O O K notebook. Four rupees ten. So the price of the notebook is rupees ten, and a pencil. For rupees four. How much money? How much money should she have pile wants to buy a notebook for rupees? Ten and a pencil for rupees four. How much money should she have? Write the question, then we can discuss the answer. Pile wants to buy a notebook for rupees 10 and a pencil for rupees 4. How much money should she have?
those who have completed try to read the question niveda read the question i will help you p a y a l pail pail ah wants to buy uh, a notebook for 10 rupees ah rupees 10 and, okay and uh, uh, pencil uh, for 4 rupees uh, how much money should, should she have very good pail wants to buy a notebook for rupees 10 so she wants to buy a notebook okay and what is the price of the notebook what's the 10. price of the no ah, rupees 10 and also she wants to buy a pencil what's the price of the pencil 4 oh ah, rupees 4 now what is the question how much money should she have how much money should need to buy these two things okay how much One. money ah Yes. How much money should she have? How much money she should give to the shopkeeper, or how much money should she need to buy these two things? Huh? How much money is needed, or how we will find out the answer? Fourteen. Ah, yes, yes, it's fourteen. She need a notebook and a pencil, and the price of the notebook is rupees ten. Price of the pencil is rupees four. So we have to add both to the amount. Then we will get the total amount, and that much money needed for the needed to buy these two things. So let's add the amount. So for the notebook, it is rupees ten. So I can write rupees ten plus for the pencil, it is rupees four. So rupees ten plus rupees four, or we can say ten plus four. Ah, oh, ten in the mind, four on the fingers. So after ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So the total amount is rupees fourteen. Ma'am, in the math, just as I got full mark. Ah, oh, very good. Many students got the full marks. Good, very good. Congratulations, to those who got the full marks. Okay, Pail wants to buy a notebook for rupees ten and a pencil for rupees four. How much money should she have? Rupees ten plus rupees four is equal to rupees fourteen. Complete the question and answer. Then you can close your notebook. We will move to the workbook. Okay. Ma'am, in the notebook. Yeah, you have to write in the notebook. Please talk in English. Hmm, it's going to complete first standard now. Write fast. Those who have completed, you can take your workbook, part two, two, page number nineteen. Andrea Babu completed the question and answer. Yes. 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 Ita, will you read the question once again? Yes. 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 Yes.
Who is talking there? Tirta, read the question once again. Read the question, Tita. Yes, ma'am. Para wants to buy wants to buy a notebook for rupees ten and a pencil for rupees four. How much money sold? Sold. No, 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 no. How much money should? How much money should should she have? Ah, uh, how much money should she have? That means how much money need uh, to buy these two things? So rupees ten plus rupees four is equal to rupees fourteen. Rupees fourteen. Okay. So let's move to workbook. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So take workbook all of you. Take page number 19. Vida Maria? Did you complete yes, the did you complete the question and answer? If you didn't complete, it's okay. I will send, to, send in the group, okay? You can take the workbook now. So, Sai Krishna, did you complete the question and answer? Let's move to the workbook. No, ma'am. Okay, right, right. Ma'am, I am ready to finish. Okay, Anthony. Only one question. After that, you can take the workbook. And then he's ready with the workbook, part two, two, page number 19. Yes. Yes. OK. Ma'am, I have a completed. Okay, take the workbook. So here we have multiple choice questions. Please take page. page number 19, 1919. Okay. Madam you got the workbook? So here we have multiple choice question. Question number one. The early coins were made of. See, the early coins were made of. Option A, gold and silver. Option B, bronze and silver. Option C, bronze and gold. Option D, copper and gold. Which is the correct answer? That's ah, yes. Option B, bronze and silver. So you can put a tick mark for option B. Write a capital letter B inside the bracket. So number two, question number two. Which one of the following activities can we do with money? 
corporate citizen which one of the following activities can we do with the money so four activities are given we have to find out which one we can do with the money option a buy vegetables option b chop vegetables ah uh, option c cook vegetables option d boil vegetables so the answer is Cook what is it buy vegetables yeah option a buy vegetables you can put a tick mark for option a right capital letter a inside the bracket ma'am sanman draw on the screen hmm like a l shape now we can move to number 3 i will call out the name and they will give me answer please be quiet what do we what do we give the shopkeeper to buy things huh? what do we give the shopkeeper to buy things option a of uh, option a toffees option b stones option c marbles option d money money yes the answer is option d money you can write capital letter d inside the bracket now number 4 again we have multiple choice questions which of the following coins are used in india once again Uh, some coins are given we you have to tell me which all coins are used in india which of the following coins are used in india option a rupees 3 option b rupee 1 option c rupees 6 option d rupees 20 uh, out of these four coins which all coins you can see 1 and 20 ah 1 and 20 very good so option b One, uh, rupee one option D also correct rupees ten D also that coin is also available so you can write in the bracket B comma D option B rupee one that is also we can see option D rupees ten D that also we can see. Now here we have question number five. How is one rupee written? How is one rupee written? Option A rupee symbol number one. Option B one rupee symbol. Option C one capital letter R. Option D one small letter R. Which is the correct option here? Question number five. Uh, how will write it? Uh, uh, no. Option One rupee. A. Option A. Yes, the correct answer is option A. Symbol of rupee and number one. So you can put tick mark for option A. Write capital letter A inside the bracket. Man, rupee twenty. Eh? Rupee twenty. What rupee twenty? Coin. It is a twenty rupee coin. Which which question yes. answer? Yes. Ah, you are showing. Okay, sir. Next one minute. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. See, Ishan showing twenty rupees coin. So those who didn't see, you can see now. Show. Oh, yes, it's written two zero twenty. As like a ten rupee, no? It is written two zero twenty. Okay, very good, Ishan. Good. Okay. Good. That, inside that, so many coins are there. Oh, now let me share. Let Let's move to question number six. Identify the given currency. Hmm. Identify the given currency. Option A, a note of rupees two. Option B, a coin of rupees two. Option C, a coin of rupees five. Option D, a note of rupees five. You can see. The currency. What is the currency? Ah, uh, option B, a coin of two. Yes, yes, two it's a coin, and it's a coin of rupees two. 
So the answer is option B. Write a capital letter B inside the bracket. Those who have completed, you can take page number 20. All of you have completed. Let's move to number 20, page number 20. Yes. yes. So here we have fill in the blanks. Question number seven. Andani, what are you doing there? Question number seven. 100 paise equal to dash rupee. Andani, tell me answer. 100 paise equal to dash rupee. How much rupee? 100 rupee mean, 100 paisa means how much rupee? One rupee. One rupee. Very good. You are remembering. So write number one here. 100 paisa equal to one rupee. Now question number eight. The money used in a country is called its dash. What we call the money used in a country? Aaron, are you remembering? Money used currency. currency. Yes, currency. What's the spelling of currency? C-U-R-R-E-N-C-Y. Currency. C-U-R-R-E-N-C-Y. Currency. Now we can move to number nine. The knots and coins used to buy things is called dash. The knots and coins. Money. Oh, yes. Money. M-O-N-E-Y. Money. -E money. The knots and coins used to buy things. We call money. M-O-N-E-Y. The knots and coins used to buy things is called money. M-O-N-E-Y. Let's move to number 10. Number yes. 10. Is the flowing a knot or a coin? Write its value. Mamadadin, is it a knot or a coin? Huh? A coin of rupees one. Very good. Good boy. A coin of rupee one. So we can write it's a coin. I T. It is a coin. C O I N. Now the value is. Its value is. Rupee one. It is a coin. Its value is rupee one. It is a coin, its value is rupee So let's move to number 11. No. Okay, complete it. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Some students didn't complete, let them complete.
question number 11 hmm. write the value of the following knot harriet what is the value of the knot question number 11 you can see yeah. it and see what's the value mm. rupees Two, oh. two thousand rupees yes two thousand rupees so rupees symbol two thousand how many zeros are there three zeros yeah yes it's a three zeros are there if it is only one it's 20 if it is two 200 if it is three two thousand thank you ma'am welcome my dear Manha Vadima, what about the next one? Number 12, write the value of the following knot. What is the value of the knot, Manha Vadima? It is rupees? Yes, ma'am. Oh, what is the value of the knot? I didn't know. Oh. How much rupees? Rupees 20. Yes, it's rupees 20. 2020. Now, question number 13, we have write in figures and words. Vedic Vinod, identify the currency. What's the value of that currency? Question number 13. Ah, rupees 10. So, it's a value we have to write in figures and words. You can take a page number 21. There we have space. Okay. It's written solution. There we can write. So, first of all, we can write in figures. I N in figures F I G U R E S. How we will write in figures? We will use the symbol. And any nature are you writing in the, not in the workbook? Huh? Put the symbol of thirteen question. You want to see thirteen question number thirteen? Yes. Thirteen the question answer questions answer only we are writing in. Page number 21, my dear. See, in figures, it is rupees 10. Now, in words, means we have to write the spelling. So, I N in words, W O R D S. So, you have to write the spelling R U P E E S, rupees 10. The spelling of 10, T E N, 10. Fifty. Yeah, it is rupees fifty. So you can write by yourself. In words and figures, you can write. In words. Please mute your device. Some. Please mute your device. In figures, F I G U R E S. It is rupees fifty five zero fifty. Now in words, R U P E E S. Rupees fifty F I F T Y. Class number 15 onwards, we will discuss in the next class. We have enough time. Write the question, write the answer in the workbook. Ma'am, Harriet have completed. Okay, Harriet.
Ma'am, he don't have completed. Okay, okay. So those have completed. You can may you may leave the session. And yes, it is. Okay. Okay, Niveda. So those who have completed, you may leave the session and we will continue in the next class. Thank you. Have a good day.